Welcome back to the Melodic Caring Project. Today we travel to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to connect with Clinton Clegg, the lead singer of The Common Heart. Clinton talks about music as emotion and how it's a platform to give love. He also dedicates and plays an incredible song to our rock stars and healthcare providers around the world. Joining us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Mr. Clinton Clegg, the lead singer of Common Heart. Thank you, Clinton, so much for being here and spending some time with us. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, man. Such a, such a pleasure to have you. We teamed up, I guess it was over the summer, last summer, when you were coming through town with JJ Gray and Mofro, and uh, we got to hear you guys, but more importantly, we got to stream you out to kids in hospitals around the country and around the world. And man, I just remember your set was one of the most... Almost surprising, I guess. You know, I didn't know about you guys in Common Heart before we watched you live, and I was so blown away by the power of your performance. Um, thank you for teaming up and sending love to the kids and uh, joining us in that way. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sending love and giving love everywhere we go is what we're about. And, you know, it's great to get to a new city. That was our first time in Seattle. And, um, getting greeted by you folks and a great audience. It's, it felt like home and, and uh, that's definitely one of the memory book for us. Love it. Well, man, one thing, speaking of memorable, that you shouted out multiple times during the course of the evening and of the set was give love, give love. Yeah. And I, I loved that. And I have to say, it's super notable that it wasn't get love, it was give love. And you know, I mean, well, one, thank you for doing that. You know, just the, the message, promoting that message while you're on tour. But what does that mean to you when you're out on the road and using your music in that way? It, it kind of came along as we, you know, when, you first, when we first started the band and we started to go out and play in front of audience, it was really about the songs. It was really about just being a musician and, and sharing um, our songwriting ability and, and, and what we can do. But then you kind of slowly realize over time that, you know, it can be more than that. It can be a message. It can be a positive feeling. Um, and, and we want to incorporate that into every show we play to have our shows not only be about the songs, but also be about the message. And it, it grew into something that all of our fans latched onto because I believe that people need that. Um, people need to feel good. They need to escape the stress, um, and it becomes more and more, and more apparent uh, every day uh, we move forward. And uh, it's just became our, our motto, our, our, our mantra. Uh, it, it, it's something that we all believe in, and it's to bring positivity to the stage and see it get response from the audience. Um, it lights up our whole world. But, you know, the message you bring, the performance you put on it, you can sit here and analyze and, and prepare and walk through what you're about to deliver to an audience. How they receive it is up to them. Uh, and everybody walks away with something different. So, you know, I do feel an obligation to put it all on the line every time, song, music, and message, just so that that can all be there for any person or fan that's out there listening. Yeah, sure. And what, you know, with going into it kind of with that in mind, what's the strongest music memory you have? Do you have a memory that was just kind of a really standout, profound moment? Oh, uh, I have a few, um, you know, mostly do come from just travel in the past couple of years with the, with the band. A lot of personal moments, just getting to know my bandmates and seeing the country. As a young band, you know, going into all these theaters for the first time is a memory that I certainly cherish, like the Neptune Theater. Um, I think fondly on getting on that run. We got to go to the Fillmore in San Francisco. Um, we got to go a little bit after that. We got to go to the Georgia Theater. Um, 
just all the things we've done musically in the past couple of years are just, you know, just so inspiring and kind of mesmerizing that we got to do that and play for some of those audiences with JJ Gray and everybody. And just, I don't know if there's one, but it's kind of the collective one of just the past couple of years have just been really special. Hmm. Yeah, I love it. Um, what, uh, okay, so another one, and this is a harder one almost. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have a do you have a word that you can wrap up what music means to you? Uh, you know, kind of that collective experience and all of those things. What's one word that represent what music means to you? Emotion. Uh, it covers every landscape of that word. Um, we've all been angry. We've all been sad. We've all been happy. We've all been excited. You know, and for all those feelings and all that emotion, I could tie song to it. I could tie my favorite artists to it. And that's, that's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah. Emotion. I was able to narrow it down that time. <laughs> well done. And Brandon, actually pretty quickly. That's impressive. <laughs> and agreed, man. It, there's, I don't know that there are... I mean, I can't think of another um, another way to connect with somebody that can access emotion so quickly and so just in in such a powerful way as music. You know, um, speaking of giving love, do you have a specific song that you would like to perform and dedicate to to kids in hospitals and to our healthcare providers out there? Yeah, I do. This is a song uh, off the Common Heart's second record. Um, it's a song called Wait, and it's about love. It's about waiting for love in a way. Um, it's about knowing when you have someone beautiful in your life and you're willing to do whatever it takes, even if that means uh, having to wait a long time to get there with them. Beautiful. Do we have, uh, you got some specific kids and, and uh, hospitals you want to send it out to? Oh, yeah, I, to I definitely do. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Brody down in Georgia, Carter in Colorado, Tucker in Sydney in Washington, and, and some great hospitals we want to show some love to. Orlando Regional Medical Center in Florida, Barnes Castle Hospital in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania in the house. Woo. <laughs> Augusta University Medical Center in Georgia. Much love to y'all and, and all the rock stars, Brody, Carter, Tucker, and Sydney. Much love to y'all. I was a drifter. When I found you well, I was scared of love And all the evil I know it can do But I took my time Then I held it up I'll be down doors for your love. I had no love. See, I ain't no angel. I ain't no saint. I'm the one that will wait. the doorway That's where I kissed you good night Then you went home to your man Oh, but you already had a fight Well, I know that I was wrong But it felt so right 
Change both of our world. Lord, in just one night. Oh, I ain't no angel. I ain't no say. I'm the one that will wait. People say, you give me the best days of my life with the worst of the year. Oh, when I'm away from home and you're feeling all alone, just know I'll be coming home soon. Oh, yeah. I know angel. I know say. I'm the one that will wait. Yes, man, incredible. And speaking of emotion, your your voice is so emotive and powerful. Thank you for sharing that with uh, with us and with the rock stars. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, thank you so much. Man, um, any, any final words you want to leave with folks before we go? To all the rock stars in the hospitals, uh, keep your positivity up. And I love you. We all love you all over. Um, the common heart loves you. And we're going to keep making music. And we'll see you down the line. Beautiful. Clinton, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you. Uh, we, we, you know, it's, it's always a pleasure to, to, when I got the message to uh, come on this thing, I was really excited. And I really believe what your organization does and um, much love to y'all as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're a musician and would like to join us in supporting hospitalized kids, email us at rockstar at melodiccaring.org. I'm Levi Ware, and this is the Melodic Caring Project.